Last time that Antonio Conte lost three league games in a row was back in 2009 when he managed Atlanta. He will be extremely frustrated because he doesn't like to lose. You see, he was frustrated there. He was talking about um, reinforcement. Like that. That's how I took it. Mm-hmm. Um, he was talking about the situation that they're in at, at this moment in time. And do they have the players to really dig themselves out of that situation? Do they, Emil? Look, they have some fantastic players. Um, they're probably paying some good wages as well, but they're not performing. They've had to get rid of players that, in my eyes, uh, were not performing well. Now it's about rebuilding and taking time to rebuild. The good thing is they've got a good manager, but he, has to, he needs to be backed as well. Um, and then what do you do? Do you say, well, just see how far you can get us this year, and then next year we'll have a real good go? No, let's see it from now. Let's see, this, let's see the turnaround from now. Let's see some aggression. Let's see some fight. Let's see some energy. And he's not actually getting that out there at this moment in time. Why so, do you think they're not performing well then, Jermaine? Because they've got the manager that everybody would want to play for. Hmm. But we're not seeing the best of this Spurs side. No, we're not. Um, I think he touched on it there briefly. He said there's a mentality shift. There's something that's not quite right. They're used to playing, um, pushing for a... a Europa League, Champions League spot. That's the mentality he wants to see. But they haven't got that. And it's just a matter of trying to find where to get that from. You know, he's got some brilliant football players like Harry Kane, like Son. There's some brilliant football players there. But it's a matter of building the rest of the team, um, building the rest of the team's mentality up to the same mentality, uh, mentality these boys have got. And that's the hardest part. And with that, you have to have time. But also... Conte doesn't want time. He wants it here and now. Mm. And he doesn't, I don't feel like he felt he was backed as much as he wanted to be backed in the window, the, the January transfer window. Mm. And that could also be a, a factor in, in the performances we're seeing now. Maybe yeah. him pr- proving a point. Yeah, because they brought in Kulusevski and Bentancur, but what he wanted was a right wing back, which didn't really materialise. But you talk about mentality. He wants his players' mentality to, to match his mentality. <laughs> Have they got enough to push for top four or... Is it out of the question I now? I think they're out of that right now. Um, but again, and that's a tough, that's the toughest thing as well. When your mentality doesn't match your players' mentality, uh, I've been there when managers uh, are looking at players and they're asking them to do this and do that, but they just can't. They just don't have that. And at times, that's what he's probably looking at and saying, "Well, what, I've got to build something else. I've either got to build it with them, or or you've got to leave and build it with someone else." In all of this, we focus on Spurs. But what about Wolves? Because they have been really, really good this season. Mm. Are they in with a shot of top four? I would say they're definitely in with a European spot, uh, a, a, a chance in that, that European spot, because they, they've just been quietly going about their business, picking up really good results here and there against some of the big teams. Um, they leapfrog Spurs, as I mentioned earlier. And, you know, they've got a great manager who is, um, you know, he, he won manager of the month. I think it was last month or the month before, and he dedicated it to his, his staff. You know, that's, major that's massive you don't necessarily tend to see that happening and I think that's where you can appreciate and respect the the respect that the rest of the the manager that's why he's getting such a great response from the players yeah and he's quite an underrated manager because they've sort of gone under the radar Mm -hmm. they've come from nowhere and now they're causing all sorts of problems where nobody really seems to want this top four position so (laughs) the manager deserves a lot of credit yeah he does and I think that's helped them as well going under the radar they've just gone about their business and really putting performances he said he was disappointed with the last, the last performance and he just wanted them to go and play, express themselves in the way that he, yet, he knows they can. And that's what you get. You get some really attractive football in what they're, when they're playing. 